Vindaba is a gathering of the African AI community, a place where we all come and meet and share our work and catch up on what people have been up to. The mission of Vindaba is to strengthen machine learning and AI in Africa. We're building a strong and vibrant and very inclusive community. It's a grassroots movement that's on the way and growing. We received over 1,500 applications for this year's Indaba. Following an extensive review process, we selected 700 individuals representing 48 countries around the world. We are proud to have sponsored the travel and accommodation for 175 students. 35% of our participants this year are women, and we want to get this to 50% in the coming years. The Indaba is important because it gives us the platform to share our work, to collaborate, and to realize that our work is just as important as the work being shared with the rest of the world. There's a high level of, of enthusiasm of uh, AI in Kenya, but as a result of the potential of, of AI to provide opportunities, uh, product, opportunities for productivity and growth, and by expanding opportunities in key areas of the economy. The Endaba comes in to support this community by providing an avenue for networking and opportunities for collaboration. This year marks the second edition of the Kambule and Maasai Awards. The idea behind these awards is to recognize the work of African researchers, both at the doctoral and the master's level, but also reward the great work that Africans are doing to impact positively and uplift their communities by leveraging AI and machine learning. So I'm one of the fortunate few people who have been able to attend all three past endeavors and I watched myself transform from a student who wasn't really sure about what kind of research topic he wanted to go into in 2017 to someone who has a very clear vision and a clear stance in the field of reinforcement learning and transfer learning applied to the robotic space. So the Indaba is going to continue to develop its reach in its mission to strengthen the machine learning community and after successful events in South Africa last year and here in Nairobi this year I'm super excited to help take the Indaba to Tunisia in 2020.